What's up guys? What's going on? Welcome to Firstborn Fitness TV. We have a quick video for you today on a vast topic and that is progressive overload. Now the concept of progressive overload is this. If you want to see an increase in muscle growth, in strength, in endurance, performance, whatever it may be, you have to subject your body to a bigger tension than it previously experienced. So let's break that down further. Now most of the time in your beginning stages of training, when you're thinking about progressive overload, the method that you're using is increasing resistance. And you do that by stacking on more weight. So let's just say you're at the gym, you're benching, you have 135 on the bar, you want to go to 225. 315. Now most people think that the only way you can experience muscle growth is to keep stacking on more weight, but that is incorrect. There's several other methods of progressive overload that you can apply to your training, such as increasing the volume, simply adding more exercises to your routine. You can also increase the reps. For example, if you're doing dumbbell curls with 30 pounds and you do them for 10 reps, the next time that you do dumbbell curls, you can still use 30 pounds, but aim for 11, 12 reps. You're just increasing the amount of reps you did as opposed to the previous training session. Another method is increasing training frequency. For example, if you train chest on Monday, like a lot of people do on International Chest Day, let's say you just train on Monday, then wait till the next Monday. You're training chest once a week. You can up that to twice, maybe even three times a week. So you're increasing your training frequency. And the final method is decreasing your rest between sets. For example, if you have three plates on bench press and you're usually taking four minutes of rest between sets, keep those same three plates on there on your next training session, but cut that rest time down to two minutes. You will see that it is more difficult to lift that same weight. So again, guys, progressive overload is a vast topic, but we just kept it uh, quick today nice basic video for you as always if you have any questions you can put them in the comments box down below thank you for watching today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'll see you guys on the next one